A while ago on the channel, I built my PC that's behind me here, my gaming and editing PC. And ever since then, I've had a few issues with it. Culminating last night, I was doing some video editing on Premiere Pro and all of a sudden it crashed when I rebooted. That happened. Blue screens, and if you keep watching it, just wait one second. Off. So in today's video, let's have a look and see if we can fix it. Okay, so I've switched to a slightly different camera now, so I can film while I'm actually working on this problem. Now, this is a blue screen. Um, the code for it is 0CX000021A. Now, this points to it being a problem between uh, one of two files, either winlogon.exe or csrss.exe. Um, basically, these are two essential files for Windows to run, and they um, have either become uh, deleted or corrupted. Um, and basically, Windows just simply cannot start without them. Um, so there's a few different things we can try to actually fix this, and I'm going to start having a look right now. So let's turn the computer on. And let's see if we can get into some kind of safe mode or command prompt. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to troubleshoot. And I'm going to go to advanced options. And then, first of all, I'm going to go and try startup repair. So I need to just... Fingers crossed. And there we go, startup repair couldn't repair your PC. So obviously there's some issues with that. So let's go back to advanced options. Troubleshoot again, advanced options. And let's, I've already tried a system restore didn't work, I haven't got any restore points on this PC. Uh, and also, uninstall updates wouldn't work either. Um, startup settings won't do anything, so it's time to go into command prompt. So, just check that C drive is the drive with Windows on, and it is. Okay, so what I do now is type in chkdsk for check this, put the drive in, and then slash F to fix any errors on the disk and slash R to relocate any bad sectors. Now the drive I've got in here on C drive is a Samsung 960 Evo, it's an M.2 NVMe. So I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with that because it is um, a decent uh, little drive. It's a 500 gig version and so I'll just leave that running now and I'll probably speed that up a little bit. Just so you don't have to wait as long as I've got to. Okay, so looking at that, we can see that there's zero kilobytes in bad sectors. Uh, it does say here, fail to transfer log messages to the event log with status 50. Now, as far as I can tell, that means that basically you can't write to the drive where it wants to. So that could mean something, or it might just mean that uh, because it's the boot drive and I'm doing it through uh, here, uh, where it wants to write it to is actually uh, right protected at the moment. So I'm going to have a look, see if that's made any difference at all. I doubt it has. Uh, but we're going to give it a reboot and see um, exactly what happens next. Um, fingers crossed again, but I'm not really holding out much hope. I don't think it's going to work. If it had found back bad sectors and it had done some re 
uh, said it had fixed some of those, then uh, I might be a bit more optimistic. But uh, yeah, here we go. No, still exactly the same problem. So I'm going to try the next thing now once this goes back into um, safe mode. It actually turns off every time it does it. It doesn't reboot as it says it does. So now we're back in the command prompt. I'm going to try uh, the system file checker, which we get to with SFC and switch scan now. So let's give this a go. And it says it's going to take some time, so uh, I'll speed this up a little bit. Okay, so that failed as well. Windows Resource Protection could not perform the requested operation which basically means that bit is screwed. So, now I've read on a few places that uh, one thing to try is looking at the disk image using DISM uh, and check health. Now, this is Windows 10 1903 and I don't think this works anymore. No, it doesn't. So I think I've gone as far as I can with this in terms of trying to keep uh, the current installation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually stop now and I'm going to do a complete reinstallation of Windows from a formatted drive, do a complete clean reinstall. Um, I shouldn't lose too much because most of the stuff that I do have is all kept either on separate hard drives or in the cloud. So I shouldn't lose too much work. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this works. Um, so yeah. So I just need to get myself uh, a Windows USB uh, that I've got knocking around here somewhere. I'll go and find that. And then I can get cracking on it. So, yeah, see you in a minute. Right then, I've got a USB stick with Windows 10 on it. This is the latest edition. Just downloaded it from the Media Creation Tool. Let's put it into the PC. Switch on. Well, not sure what's happened there. It's all gone green. Um, so hopefully when I install graphics drivers, that will sort that out. Um, that looks absolutely rubbish. And there you go, that's worked absolutely fine. So unfortunately, the only way that I could get that to work was to do a complete clean reinstall, but it does have its upsides. Uh, I've got a nice brand new Virgin operating system now that I can um, go into and mess up as much as I want. So I've got to look on the bright side, I suppose. I will do uh, another update on this machine, do some proper benchmarks on it now that I've got hopefully over all of its issues um i will go into all of those in that video um but to, just gotta say thank you very much for watching i hope that this helps you out in some way if you're having the same sort of problems i've got loads more videos coming very soon best way not to miss any of those is to subscribe below doesn't cost a thing 
and if you click the bell notification icon you will be told every time I upload another video. And why not watch one of our other videos on the left hand side of the screen right now. So thanks for watching and I will see you later.